This video, we're going to take a look at how to handle expected value when you're rolling two dice. Now, in the end, you have to remember what expected value means. It is the probability of the outcome times that outcome, and then you add that up for all of your different outcomes that you can possibly have in that particular game. And it is considered a fair game if the cost of play is exactly equal to the expected value. And so, um, in this particular example, we're rolling two dice. Um, that still means it's a single event because each roll of the dice, you're rolling both. You're not just rolling one and then the other and doing something else. And so you are adding them up and finding the sum of it. So anytime you're working with the sum of two dice, this table is a great way to visualize all your different options. Um, they each have six um, sides. And so therefore, there are a total of 36 different outcomes that you, um, that you could roll. Uh, but a lot of them are repeated, like you can see that you have uh, two 11s, you have six 7s, and so on and so forth. And so you have to take all the new account when you're rolling, because if you have two different dice, you know, one red, one blue, uh, you can roll a 2 and then a 3 versus a 3 and a 2, and you're going to end up with the same numbers. And so um, do be careful with that. So in the end, we like to make our table to help us figure out our expected value, probability of the outcome, multiplied by what that outcome is. And so again, here it doesn't matter what your values are, the concept remains the same. And so if I'm gonna win X dollars, I'm gonna do that if I roll an 11. Now my 11s are right here. And so there are two 11s, and so that would be two out of 36. Of course, you could reduce that to one out of 18. And so two out of 36 options. Or you could roll um, or win Y dollars, whatever that is, if you roll any total five or less. Now five or less means that five counts and any number less than it counts. Right? So those fives counts, the fours, the threes, and the twos. And so you count all those up. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ways that that can happen. And so that means that there are 10 out of 36, which of course that can be reduced to five out of 18 also. And those are your probabilities. Those are my two, only two outcomes of how, what goes on in this particular game. And so the outcome is X or Y, the probability of those, and then you get to multiply. So this is going to be 1 18th times X. This will be 5 18th times Y, whatever those values are. And then you add them up. Whatever you get right here is considered your expected value. And remember, expected value is not what the most likely outcome is. Um, in this option here. That's not what expected is. It's if you were to play this game many times, what is going to happen on average, meaning if you were to take your total winnings and divide by how many uh, times you played it. And so um, that value is your expected value. It says if you paid $3 for this game, would it be considered a fair game? Well, if your expected value is 3, then yeah. If your expected value is not 3, then no. Right? And that's how you answer these questions of with expected value.